of course. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. so welcome everyone. Good morning. Uh, the first talk of today will be will, will be actually a hands-on um, by Professor Quan Sheng Wu of the <laughs> Institute of Physics at the Chinese uh, Academy of Science in Beijing. So will show us how to use this wonderful code, Banyan tools, that can actually compute a lot of uh, um, properties that are relevant for the field of topological materials, uh, starting from from a uh, from Vanier functions and Vanier Hamiltonians. So thank you a lot, Wen Sheng, for accepting our invitation. Um, so actually, Thanks. your session, so your hands-on uh, is uh, simultaneously broadcasted in two rooms here at ICTP. We couldn't fit everyone into a single room. So, and then there are also participants joining online, so you, you will receive uh, questions from, you know, in-presence audience, online audience, and so on and so forth. Uh, without further ado, the floor is yours. Thanks a lot, Jun Feng, um, Quan Sheng. Thank you very much, Antimo. Antimo, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm Chen Shen Wu, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, thank you very much for the organizers to organize such a wonderful summer school. It's my pleasure to share one your tools to you, and um, yeah, my, it's a great pleasure to have this opportunity. Okay, and. Uh, this is the outline of these uh, two tutorials in the day for Vanya Tools. The, uh, the first hour, we will show how to use Vanya Tools to calculate the topological properties, and including topological insulators, why the metal, and uh, this is the work directory, Excel as one. And the, the, I, we prepared two, uh, tutorial, uh, two PDFs to, to, to show you how to uh, run Vanya Tools step by step and uh, with some input files. And, and uh, in this tutorial, EFA at EPFL will also help us to, to answer questions. And um, yeah, for the second one is the, uh, we, we want to introduce how to use one of the tools to study the twister graphene systems and the lambda levels. And uh, we prepared one program, one code called the TGTPGN, okay. So, uh, it's not a serious name, and uh, we will show you how to how to use this code to generate a dependent model and uh, for test graphing systems, and also use manual tools to study those test systems. And those are uh, uh, note, I mean, the work directory and uh, to to PDF tutorials. And yeah, my talk will I mean the tutorial will break into two part. I mean, to each session will break to, in two parts. The first, uh, and the two, 20 minutes talk and the 40 minutes hands on. Okay, and uh, thanks to David and Eva, and uh, in, because they they, they are uh, during their talks they already introduced a lot of theoretical background of topological properties, and uh, including the Wilson loop very phase very culture, and uh, I mean the Wilson loop uh, Wilson loop is also called the Vanier Center in in this section. Okay, and um, so now we can focus on how to use Vanier tools. Okay. So the uh, please look at this session. Okay, okay. and uh, let's start from the capabilities of the Vanier tools. Okay. At the beginning, Vanier tools is uh, designed for topological property, topological materials. So at the beginning, we have the topological. Uh, so the first part is the topological classification. Okay, we can use the. Uh, 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 a, fun, uh, a functional to it's called find fun, nodes. I mean, if you can define the occupied bands and unoccupied bands, you can use this one, this uh, this functionality to 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 looking for uh, band crossings. If we found band crossing, then we call this gap equal zero. And uh, then it's a metal and standard metal. Then we can we can uh, according we can use the symmetry to de to define whether it's a one standard metal or direct standard or no trans metals. And then we can calculate the wire clarity by culture or by phase for for those phases. Okay. And if we didn't find our uh, uh, the, the, the band crossings, then it's an insulator. We call the insulator. Sometimes it's not indeed an insulator, okay. And, uh, and then we can, uh, we can calculate the zeta number. We can use a one natural center or, or call the Wilson loop to, to calculate the, the topological properties, okay. The zeta number, chain number, sometimes middle chain number. Okay. But this is not that, um, that, that's, uh, 
uh, module. Okay. And uh, after the classification, and then we you can you can use you can also use final tools to, to calculate some uh, physical properties I and mean, the topological related physical properties. The famous one is the surface states, and uh, you can calculate surface states in the K energy and the momentum energy mode, and also or momentum momentum mode in, at our uh, ISO energy. Uh, at the ISO energy, okay. And also you can calculate, uh, and th these two parts can calculate, can compare with our past measurements. And also you can calculate quant quasi particle interference that can compare to the uh, STM measurements. And also you can uh, calculate the spin texture or anomalous uh, uh, conductivity or, or, or density of state or joint density of state. And uh, and uh, also recently, we also developed some new functionalities. Uh, for example, they calculate the magneto resistance, ordinary magneto resistance, and also lambda levels and uh, band unfolding from a super cell calculation to 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 uh, to a primitive unit cell. And those and uh, recently we updated a version that can uh, study a very large scale calculation simulation such as the twisted ballet graphing systems. Okay. And this is the capabilities and, uh, uh, okay. And uh, uh, now it's um, uh, for the topological property and surface state calculations uh, will also works for the phonon systems. And uh, let's introduce our methodology. The methodology, we use this, uh, is, and Vanuatu's is based on telebending model. Okay, the, the telebending parameters are constructed with Hamiltonian and uh, uh, the overlap between two, uh, two, two local orbitals and uh, with the Hamiltonian. And uh, this is, uh, these three uh, requirements uh, are needed. The first one is the orthogonal basis. The, the basis should be orthogonal with each other. The second one is we take the telebending approximations. That's the, those local, those local orbitals are just dot function, kind of a dot function, okay. And also we, uh, we, we, we treat all the basis uh, as a complete basis, okay. All those three requirements can be made by Vanier functions. Okay. When we do the DFT calculations, we can construct the Vanier we can construct Vanier function use the grid code Vanier 90. And uh, we, uh, we, can, we can get the Vanier functions and then we can get this uh, uh, parameters. Okay. And uh, once we obtain those parameters, those telebending parameters, we can treat this telebending model as a uh, uh, as an uh, orthogonal basis, of course it's an orthogonal basis, right? But the Tatabani approximation is it's not that uh, exact because, uh, because we know that the value functions has, uh, has uh, does have uh, spreads, right? And uh, also the, it's not complete, but, uh, but uh, in, in, in the end, I mean, in the energy range that we are interested in, uh, uh, this complete basis is is valid, okay, and uh, and uh, so uh, in conclusion is that one uh, uh, basis one year model is uh, uh, it's a very good telebending model for for one year tools, okay, and also of course you can construct your telebending model um, based on these three uh, requirements, okay. The code structure is like this: one year tools is written in Fortran. And it's shared on GitHub. And uh, uh, yeah, there's a, uh, uh, a, uh, a underline here because this is this name is a very old name, and then now I can. It's very hard to 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 change it from to remove this one, and uh, and it's also uh, MPS supported. And uh, the structure is like this: we have a we have a main uh, sub, we have a main program. Ninety, and this, we start from read the, the input the F, read the inputs we call the wt dot in, and then we can analyze the symmetries. Sometimes it's uh, it's needed to to, for example, calculate tensor states or calculate the uh, orbital magnetic uh, orbital magnetic resistance. Oh, no, sorry, uh, the ordinary magnetic resistance. It can reduce a lot of calculations. And, and then next we read the, the telebending parameters. 
after the, the, those three subroutines, we can calculate the uh, the, uh, the, fun the the functionality that you need. For example, the band, uh, the bulk band, the slab band from the surface and uh, uh, from the surface in three D, in two D, or and the surface data or lots of other functionalities. Okay, and. Uh, uh, so let's introduce two two inputs. The, the, when it was required, two important inputs. The first one is the carbon parameters. Of, of course, this uh, is defined by the one united the input file. Should be like this. Oh, the first line is a common line, and then this is the number of one functions and number of lattice vectors, and then the degeneracy of the R points. And uh, of course, the this is R. This is the band indexes, and this is the uh, the the uh, the hoppings. Okay, and uh, then we uh, the input uh, the main input files for when it was is called W T T M. In this uh, file, there are two kind of formats. This one is called a nameless. This is a special format for uh, for 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 fortune. Uh, I think I don't need to introduce because it's very common in 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 in, in quantum espresso. Okay, and after you prepare these two files, you you you, you can just run when it was without input and output. Okay, this is the input and output we we generate uh, with our given names. Okay, okay, and then we. Uh, uh, we will show you. Uh, we will give you one example to show you how how, how what can one uh, provide, and uh, uh, this is a business uh, satellite, and it's a strong topology insulator. If you look at the band structure, it's uh, just a band inversion at the gamma point. Okay, you need to uh, in order to calculate the uh, topology number, and now we know that it's a Z2 topology. This a uh, 3D Z2 topology number, uh, topology insulator. So in the uh, in the input file, we need to provide a Z2 calculate. Okay, here it's a missing equals two. Sorry, it's a missing equals two. And then you need to set the number of occupied bands, and you need to set occupied bands. Also, I mean, all bands below the formula level is occupied. So there are 18 bands, 18 bands. Okay. And also, you need to set the uh, k k points that you 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 need to to plot the uh, the 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 vinyl, uh, the, Western, the, mean the Western loop, or we call the vinyl child stands. Okay. Although I mean, in the code, we uh, the 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 k match are, are, uh, are adaptively uh, increased uh, uh, in the in the vinyl child center calculations because uh, in some uh, because uh, uh, in some materials, the uh, the barrier curvature will uh, diverge close to some crossing points. Or I mean, so we need to increase the the K mesh uh, adaptively. So in the end, uh, you will find that the number of K points is is more it's the uh, it's more than the the, the initial settings. Okay, and the alpha set uh, they provide the necessary text in this one and uh, you can run the run one your tools and then in the end you can get uh, we prepare some scripts to 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 plot the uh the the uh the worst loops or, i mean the, the 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 figures so you just use the general group plot to 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 plot this one and uh, from this plot you can tell that this is a two and the, the, i mean at the case you could zero plane it's z2 equals one and for this one z2 equals zero so there's no crossing okay and uh, from the textbook we know that it is strongly topology i mean strong top, topology insulator and then you can use uh, uh, these six planes to define the topology uh, the topology number for uh, for three d system is one zero zero okay and also you can you can get the uh, Z2 number from the outputs from that. But I strongly recommend you to 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 to, to plot the 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 the, the vanilla chest center plot. Because sometimes they if you, if they if the telephone model is not time uh, is not uh, uh, time symmetric. I mean, uh, 
I mean, in sometimes when you construct one functions, the time reversal time reversal symmetry will break. And then in that case, you the 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 uh, the value child center will also open small gap here. And in that case, sometimes the 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 zeta number showed here is not is not correct. So. Uh, it's uh, it's very important to plot them and then to check whether your when your, your tidal model is uh, is perfect or not. Okay, and uh, and uh, and we know that for uh, uh, if uh, our insulator is a topology insulator, then we know that they are the Wilson loop or the one child center is non-trivial. For example, here the one uh, the one child center is. Uh, Links from the the zero to one uh, when you evolve the uh, the momentum from zero to two pi. This is non-trivial, and this is trivial. And also, we know that there's a proof uh, you you can find in in this paper that uh, the Wilson loop it can uh, can uh, can exactly uh, relate to the surface states. So, for example, here, this is our insulator, one near child center for, 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 for our insulator. And then if you look at the surface state, you will find that this surface state, so it's a trivial. But for this one, it links, uh, the, the surface state links uh, the, uh, the various band to the conduction band. Yeah, this is how they are kind of homotopy to each other. Okay. You can find some proof, you can find the proof in this uh, paper or in or in a Tito Snoopers uh, uh, note. Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, yeah, the and the, 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 that's for our, our, our general purpose of the uh, the relation between the Wilson loop and uh, and the the surface states on them. And for bismuth for bismuth selenide, you can also you can calculate the surf, the surface states uh, uh, either use the slab band calculation or use the uh, in uh, Green's function uh, iterative Green's function. Okay, you can calculate the K E mode or in uh, KK mode. It's, uh, this is called the K plane. And then also, it's called the Fermi arc. It's an arc, and um, uh, although in, although here it's not an arc, but uh, the arc it's uh, it's uh, from the uh, the is from the uh, the Weinstein methods. Okay, so the, this is also not a very good name, okay. and also you can calculate the texture. And, uh, and that's for uh, that's for uh, tablo that's for topology insulators. Okay, but for Weinstein methods, the first so first you need to find whether we 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 have band crossings, right? That's the, we can use the band nodes. You can calculate the 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 the, the, the band nodes. And the, once you find the the, the 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 wire points, and then you can calculate the the the, the, the chirality. And also you can calculate the. the the one your child center in the, in some KZ plane, some plane. But uh, in this case, they uh, it's different from the day two calculation. And uh, and also you can calculate the better curvature. We know that at the web points, it's, uh, the better curvature will diverge here. But here we plot the normalized ones. We just want to show the thing, the the source and the the thing of the better curvature. Okay. Okay. And uh, and uh, uh, in, in in our tutorial, we also we also provide a titanium arsenide for our our example. And uh, you can you can uh, here one thing this I want to show is that uh, when you try to use the fine nodes calculation, you for example we know that titanium arsenide ha does have the uh, wire points, so. Uh, it's you. You only need to specify very sparse k mesh in nk one, nk two, nk three to 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 find the web the the web points. Okay. And, okay, and that's the uh, brief introduction of the vanier tools and um, and uh, uh, the. Uh, if you didn't uh, uh, download the run your tools to kit, you can just use the kit clone. You copy this one and uh, uh, go into this directory and uh, read these two uh, these two PDFs. And uh, you can 
there are two tasks for 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 the first session, and uh, the the first one is topological insulators. You need to learn how to plot the band structure, calculate the wave loop, and study the surface states. And for the wire semester, you need to first find the wire, wire nodes and the wire clarity and uh, start calculate the barrier curvature, surface state, and form accident. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, in, any questions? Let's what thank the speaker. Is? Let's see how many questions we have. I saw there was one there. Raise your hand. Any other? Mm. What's the base? Uh, thank you so much for the nice talk. Uh, I have a question. Like, suppose we have a semi-metal topological semi-metal like LABI. Then, how to choose num occupied in that case? Like, it is very simple in. Um, insulators, but uh, in LABI kind of things. OK, uh, for to choose the, uh, to choose the, uh, the occupied bands, right? Um, it, it depends, for, for example, for, for this one, uh, if we want to, to check whether, there's a, whether there is a topological connection between all those occupied bands to the Unoccupied bands, all, all those bands. I mean, uh, for the number of occupied bands, you need to uh, get rid of the uh, the occupied for the. I mean, in the electron systems. Okay, so for example, if you want to study this gap, then it's eighteen bands. But however, if we if you check this gap, okay, for example, here you 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 have a, a four gap. I mean. At this band, it's four gap. If you want to study this, whether this gap is topological or trivial or non-trivial, you can set a number of capacity equals twenty because this is twenty. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, for, for example, for, for for this band, if you want to study whether this gap is is trivial or non-trivial, you can also set another number for that. So it doesn't matter it is crossing the Fermi level or not. Like we just uh, yeah, some... it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. That's the topology. I mean, basically, it's kind of, a, I mean, a mathematical thing. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. so <clears throat> there is another question. And by the way, if you are connected on Zoom, of course, you can ask a question. And I, and I saw at least one um, by writing in the chat or <clears throat> raising <clears throat> your hand. Thank you very much uh, for the presentation and developing these nice tools. Um, I have a question about uh, maybe related to a previous one. So uh, we heard in, a, in another talk by David Vanderbilt that uh, it is not possible to vinyrize only the valence band of a topological insulators. So I assume you must include some of the higher energy states. So how do you choose um, which states to include uh, and also you mentioned something that sometimes the, the model is not uh, perfectly symmetrical and there can be some gap on opening where it's not supposed to. So maybe you could also comment on maybe some pitfalls of uh, uh, this uh, method and analysis and where we should expect problems. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. So. Uh, for some cases, for example, uh, in the twisted barrier graphene systems, for example, in, in this case, okay, for those bands, they are, if you want to construct the, uh, 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 vinyl functions only for those four bands, it's almost impossible. If you, if you don't want to break any symmetries, okay, it's almost impo it's impossible. For one valley, it's not impossible because if, because if you calculate the, where the, the vinyl charge center for, for for these four bands, you will find that the uh, the the the, the worst loop for these four bands is topological and trivial. So it means that you cannot construct a vanilla function for 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 these bands. However, if you break some symmetry, if if you break, for example, if you break some uh, chemical symmetry or, or some C3 symmetries, you can 
you then it makes the, this uh, Wilson loop non-trivial, then you can construct a pad bending model for, for these four bands. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether I answered the question or not. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, there was one question <clears throat> from an online participant. What is the basic for K lines in the K path underscores lab definition? Uh, yes, actually, that's a good question. The basis, right? The basis for the K lab is that uh, mm, uh, once you choose, because the surface is defined uh, um, by the surface cut, and then for the first line is the, the first line is uh, it's, uh, uh, it's R1, and the second one is R2, R1 prime and R2 prime. And then with this R1 and R2 prime, you can calculate, you can, def, you can calculate the, the, the reciprocal lattice, right? And then they cut the, 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 the coordinates, for, I mean, the units for that K pass slab is based on that two primitive units, primitive, reciprocal primitive units. Reciprocal lattice vectors. Okay, so one question was answered and two new questions were asked. Could yes. you please briefly describe the search for the wild points? What is the strategy? Are there any problems when <clears throat> there are no lines in the band structure? Could you briefly describe this? Okay, so, so the first search of wild points, uh, yes, that's a good question, okay. So uh, with a given number of pads, bands, and this N and this N plus one, you can define a gap function. A gap function is defined of at the HK, it's uh, it's uh, E N plus one minus E N. So it's so you can get a function. It's called the G of K, right? And then you can study for a given starting K point. Uh, for a given starting K points in the K mesh, then you can use uh, 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 for example a CG method, conjugated gradient method, to looking for a local minimal of this G of K, starting from, for, for example, for, for a given K zero, you can looking for the local minimal or of this G of K, starting from this K zero, and then you can get a local minimal. And then starting from another K, you can also find another local minimal. And the form of the, the uh, and uh, we have six by six times six, times six, and we have 216 uh, uh, start initial K points. Then we can find 216 uh, uh, local minimums. And the, since we have the, 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 the wire points, so it must, so they, you must, so it's very easy to find the, the, those, uh, those, uh, uh, those wire points because the gap is just zero, right? And, uh, and, uh, and uh, we need to eliminate those duplicates. And in the end, you can get the, all those K points, or those web points, okay. So in the end, so it means that you don't need to increase a lot of uh, K points here. But for the node line systems, sometimes you need more, more K points, okay. Okay, and... Uh, okay. No, I think there was a last question on phonons, but, you know, maybe, I guess that's, you know, you can maybe quickly answer that, but I guess that's a little bit more yeah. an advanced okay. topic. Uh, for phonons, yes, it's just uh, actually, yes, you, you, we, we, we do, we, we do. You need to specify uh, this, not package it, there's another called, uh, system, I forget it's uh, called system or what. There is a tag in, in the TB file, you, uh, you, you can check online, okay, the input files for that, there is. Okay. System for the election of phonons. Okay. Ah, so, so. Yeah, okay. So you can specify that you're dealing with phonons yes. with a specific um, uh, uh, okay. line, essentially. Yes. Okay, I think we, if there are no, if there are any, no, I don't see any other questions. So I think we can move to the hands on. Mm -hmm. um, so, Wen Shang is. Yeah, so do, do I need to do something? Oh, 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 they, oh, 
people can can just follow the the the, the, the <clears throat> no it's uh, a, as you as you wish i mean it's in mean, this it's yes I, I think i think it's uh, it's easy it's easier to 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 show to to follow the instructions for example okay. for the time uh, for for this one um, sure the topology insulators it's uh, you can follow for example cd did this one and then you can uh, uh unzip the i mean uh, uncompress that uh, decompress this file and then you can read it and then i think it's easy to it's easy to follow it okay so you know what we can do is that people just work on this uh in, independently and then uh, if they have any questions i have the microphone here and i'll go around the desk yes. and ask her. okay okay and the same for those who might be uh, in the Eklund room at the Adriatico with Stepan. Um, okay, maybe there is one last question, but that, this is really should be the last one, I guess. For special function calculations with semi-infinite slab geometry, do we have a way to plot separately the contribution from surface, just one layer below surface and deep in the bulk? Um, yes, 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 do. Actually, actually this is the one, well, yes, uh, it's it's possible. Of course, it's possible, it's, uh, but it's not uh, implemented. It, it should be straightforward. If you need it, I, 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 I can implement it. I think it's, it's straightforward, actually. Okay, so let's start the tutorial, and and then if we have que you know if people have questions, we'll we'll ask you. Uh, we'll ask okay. uh, to you.
Uh, that, that was uh, easy. Sorry, can you hear me? Yes. I have a question about the uh, results uh, for for this topological topological material calculation, which is on the page uh, page three of the tutorial. Page so you have three, the two, three. Okay, this one. Yeah, this red red plot. Uh -huh. Yes, what vanier charge centers yeah so so it says that in, in the uh, text that the just next line after the plot it says that it is obvious that this is a z2 equal to one and okay. then it refers to uh, crossing times between the charge center and the line that you draw from the left to the right is odd. So, so first I want to sh ask what, what is the line? Where, where do we draw that line? Ah, okay, okay. Yes, so when you, in, in your plot, you have a, a blue line, right? So in that plot, uh, we, 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 I do get a blue line, you're right. Yeah, yes, yes. That blue line, is, uh, it's, uh, it's an automatic method to, 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 to determine the, the, the Z2 number. I mean, uh, if you plot this, this plot, this one natural center is easy to change because you can, you, you can, you can uh, get, uh, uh, you can plot, I mean, draw a line. So just any right. horizontal line, right? Anywhere. Yes, yeah, horizontal line or horizontal line or, or any kind of line. Any kind of line should be fine. Uh, then you can you can count how many how many times it's crossed the when you, the, the, the this uh, WCC right. Okay. It's one. Then it's one. But in the but in in the uh, numerically it's not that straightforward actually. Uh -huh. Numerically, uh, Alexey uh, Soryanov, he and uh, and uh, David Van Beert, they proposed a, a very smart way to to uh, to to. Uh, I mean, to automatically uh, pair the Z2 number from this plot. How do they draw that line? They draw that line like this. First, at this K point, you find uh, the largest gap, for example, here. This is the largest gap, right? Okay, that's where and the then, blue line starts on, on our plot, right? Yes, yes, that, 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 that's the largest gap. The largest gap line, it's just uh, to draw a, a random line to, to count how many times it's crossed, it, uh, it crosses that line. I between see. Between the Vanessa center and that line. So, so, so it's automatically. Yeah, I don't know if you, if you can bring that uh, plot, but I, I cannot share a screen. Uh, so on my screen, that line starts, as you said, where you have a largest gap, then it, it moves sharply down and crosses the... Yes. Um, then, then it crosses one set of uh, the charge centers, and then it jumps back again to the top, and it's kind of after a couple of zigzags, uh, it, it flattens. So I was yes. thinking, like, what is the rationale for? Yes, it's uh, you can draw any kind of line. So it's, hmm. uh, let us see the genu. And, uh, Let me run this again, okay. okay. It's finished. Oops. Oh no, it's no, no.
starting. No problem. Uh, we're, we're a bit ahead. Still no? Why? Strange. Yeah, I mean, the point is that uh, it doesn't matter how you draw that, that line. You can draw this line here, Where? here, 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 here. It doesn't matter. So then why, why they had a special algorithm for generating this line if, if it doesn't matter how to draw that line? Because that largest gap is fixed. If you have a one yard child center, that one is fixed. That line is, is exact. Okay. So, so but, then. But, but, you, but, 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 but sometimes you can ask, okay, I, I can draw a line here, just line, a fixed line here, right? But that's also fine. But sometimes, for example, for this line, huh. for, for this line, if you draw a line here, it's very hard to count how many times it's to cross this line. So it should, should be more, like more or less obvious, right? Yes, yes, it's not that obvious here. But if you have a line, for example, it's zigzag like this, then it's very easy to count, right? I see. Okay, so that's probably a reason why we have that zigzag line that, uh, yes. in my point of view, what it does, it connects uh, one uh, on the left side, you find the largest gap, and then you find the largest gap on the right side. And then it is trying to connect uh, these two uh, regions with uh, very obvious number of crossings, I would say. That's also fine. That's also fine. But uh, we have the same problem. For example, here and this, this, this one and this one. Sometimes it's just a horizontal line. Thing. Yeah. It's not easy to put. Okay. So, so, but this horizontal line cannot have a slope, right? Sometimes, yes. But for example, if you are lying here, then it's, it's easy to counter it. I see. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's, it should, should like your line like, like this. Okay. But the largest gap is, is, a, is a kind of fixed one, and it's exact for, for, for WCC, for WCC clause. Uh, thank you for answering. Yes. Okay, just a question when you calculate to this level. Yeah, the, 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 this is then is it possible to calculate the thing to this level? Yes, of course, of course, yes. They for that one, they give and yes. Okay, actually, the weight is, is stored here.
how to use the Bertie Homes. Okay. Um, do we include the Okay, uh, the ham slab, yes, I think you, in the input, in the documentation, it's called, uh, it's called the slab. I think it's called, uh, slab, okay, okay, slab, I think it's called the, Slab band calculation. Actually, we not only have slab band calculation, we also have slab plane and slab band wave function calculation. So, actually, Okay, Nico Demons asked me how um, can I explain how to use the blue team uh, ham slab. Okay, it's, if you want to use it yourself, you can, if you, I mean, you, you can read uh, the EK slab of F19. Okay, it's uh, here you can, I mean, give a K and then you can get the, the Hamiltonian and then you can diagonalize it. Then the, wave function, the energy is stored in the, in the eigenvalue and this is the one. But if you want to, uh, to, to, to just use, uh, to use this EK slab, you can use the uh, slab band calculator you can assume to get the, to, to get the float. Okay, it's, uh, I think it's, it's stored here, right? It's here. It's this plot, actually. Uh, it's, uh, let me open the... Wansheng, we also have one more question from here, from yes, the please. audience in the room. Yes. Hi. Okay. So, yeah. So I, I have uh, um, some questions about the, um, the twisted by layer graphing thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, no, for the twisted by layer graphing, I, I will answer the for the next session. Okay. Okay. okay, okay perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I will that's the content for the next step. Sorry. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Atasi asked me to set the layer specific contribution of spectrum the extracted pain. Please guide how should we. Okay, okay. For the okay, I will show you the the code for the Poseidon, the F nineteen for the uh, this is a code to show you how to get the eigenvectors uh, for the slab calculation for a given k points. Okay. And uh, the wave function is uh, for a given band and a given case stored in uh, in the Poseidon. Okay, and uh, so you uh, in the input file you need to define a single k point to d, and uh, you can find uh, read input. It's uh, it's uh, it's written here. You need to uh, you need to uh, specify kind of here single k point two d direct zero zero or you forget the zero zero point five or zero. It's just one k point. It's in, in fraction coordinates, and uh, with these k points, then then you can construct the Hamiltonian, right? Use this function, and then you can, and then you need to diagonalize it. Here, it's uh, we call the uh, uh, this is a, 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 a function from the uh, from the LaPack. You can diagonalize it, and then in. Okay, this is a precise is a wave function. Okay, and then you see here, this is the this is the precise, this is a wave function. And then, for example, here you want to get this precise two is the, the square. I mean the 
uh, no, the norm, the square root of the norm of, of that pasta. So you, you can you can get get the, the pasta two from uh, for this is the slab, and this is the band. So you can you can get the uh, this is for one step or two steps a second. But uh, for example, if you want to if you want to get the uh, the atom atom layer result or atom result, you need to define another one. You need to define uh, another another percent. And uh, yeah, that's it. because the wave function is because we know the basis of the wave function, right? The way the basis for the the wave function for the slab is that uh, we have a we have one slab, second slab, and the third slab. And for each slab, you have a num you have number of atoms, right? And the time you have number of one functions then. I mean the dimension of number of binary functions for each number of binary function you have the log, you have the position of that atoms, right? So you can get to that. Yeah, that's it. You're welcome. Let's Let's check the angle. I'll restrict that. Uh, let me check. I loop. This I loop. It's this percent is for the slab and the band. Number select the bands. Okay. It's number select the bands. Yes, 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 you're right. Let's see. In, the, in this double team, this, I mean, in the output of, I mean, this is the IBS text. So you see, the, the output is based on the slab, one slab. The, I mean, the weight on one slab, the second slab, the third slab. Yes. If you plot the if you plot the wave function for uh, for that band, I mean if you check the for example this this K point and select this this band, and then you will find that it's uh, it's like this. I mean the weight the, the weights are just a lot clients at the boundary. Ah, oh, that okay. Uh, that file is created on. Uh, 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 okay, let me show you. Three D West metal. I have a uh, eh? no. If you check, if you check the the the. 
I mean, the examples are on Vanya Tools on GitHub. I mean, there's an example, it's called the 3D wire model. And uh, there is a, a, a Fortune, uh, a Fortune code to, to, to generate that uh, 3D wire system or 3D, I mean, the telephone model. It's, uh, it's, it's designed like this. It's very simple. This, uh, this is a parabolic band and uh, add a uh, 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 open star gap along x and data x and y direction, but uh, uh, doesn't open the gap along the z direction. So you 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 have the you have two y points along the z direction. Yes, it's here. It's just a very simple model, very simple uh, toy model. Yes, it's here. I think it's already shared on, on GitHub. Ryan, is that clear? Okay. Okay, welcome. Okay, Eva. I have a bit confused regarding the what that means. We got a bench to find which means I think. Okay. 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 That insulator it's um, so it's called a, with a quotient, right? So it's uh, it's uh, that insulator is uh, it's defined by At each key point, we have a gap, so we call it a kind of insulator. It's kind of a band insulator. Um, no, it's also not a band insulator. So we, <laughs> um, topological band insulator or, or what? I, I don't know. So it's, 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 how, 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 how can we define that? Yes. This insulator is different from the band insulator since it's, uh, it's uh, it's gapped at each k point, but uh, uh, so it means that uh, uh, we have a direct gap everywhere. But we sometimes we don't have the uh, we sometimes uh, we 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 don't have the indirect gap. I mean. This is a this is a real definition in the in the if you want to study the, the topological band, the topological properties, because the topological properties is, we only need uh, energy gap at each k point. In in the in the key plane that you want to study, okay. Uh, is it possible to read Z two index without reading the one year pole? Yes, yes. The Z2 index is already in the in the W dot out. Yes. In that you see, uh, you can read that here. Here in, in, in the in this uh, PDF, you can use uh, this one to, to read it. You can search Z2 number for six plans or Z2 number. You can search Z2 number in W dot out. We have it. Okay. Sorry, can we take one question from Leonardo Room in Trieste? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we're just trying to understand uh, how the uh, this plot Vanier Charge Center was generated. Um, so still back to the third page. Uh, sorry, progressing slowly. Uh, yeah. This one? Okay. Yes, exactly. So, so on this plot, um, what is the k on the horizontal axis? So we have okay. we have kx and ky, right? No, it's like this. It's a, uh, it's defined in the. Let's go to that. Uh, to in. When you calculate the Vanya Center. Uh, 
you need to do uh, integration along a uh, k vector, right? This okay. is the defender in the k plane block. Mm -hmm. This one. This is integration direction. So along this direction, you can get uh, the value along the y direction for, for this plot. That's, that's the one chest center along this direction. And uh, for each k points along this vector, the third vector from zero to, I mean, zero, zero to zero, zero point five. So here, the k is uh, this is zero, this is point, zero point five. So this is the- For this plot. Yes, this is zero point five. I see, so, so this will be in the y, y axis, right? Uh, yes, yes, this is the KY, exactly, this is the KY. Okay. Actually, it's not kind of KY, it, it, except, uh, okay, here, here is KY, yes, of course, here is KY, because it's, uh, uh, it's, it's kind of- Okay, so there's basis. second, second axis. Yes, the second one, yes, different values. Okay, and uh, I, I know that uh, I, the, um, the, the tutorial, it's, uh, there, there are many contents in this tutorial and, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, maybe m most of you didn't finish all, I mean, all these two PDFs, but, uh, but uh, in this, I mean, in this summer school, I would like to introduce, I mean, more thing, more uh, functionalities in Vanya to, to you. So, uh, so I, I'm I'm sorry that I, I I want to go to the the the, the, the next part. Uh, Time, uh, Guan Cheng, you can move to the second hands-on. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. I'm so sorry. It's it's it, there. Yeah, there's so, so many things. Okay. That's okay. Fine. And uh, okay. The second part is for the for the quick twist biography systems. It's very hot recently, right? And uh, uh, yes. Okay. And I, I suppose that uh, most of you know this name of twist biography. You put two graphene sheets onto each other and make a, make a twist. And then you, you, if you look at the band structure, you will find that uh, the, this is the band structure for graphene, uh, they are come here, but if you make a twist angle, you will find that they, they, we still have a direct points here, but uh, the, the, the band width uh, are very, very small. I mean, it's much reduced. And uh, uh, there is a magic angle, and uh, actually in our calculation it's 1.16, but in the experimental it's 1.08. And you will find that there's a very flat band here, okay, this is called the flat band, okay. And uh, recently there are also, uh, after the, twist, uh, the experimental on twist biography, uh, there are lots of, there are numerous uh, other setups, for example, twist monolayer, mono bilayer, and the twist of double bilayer, and uh, also a mirror symmetric, uh, 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 mirror symmetric twist trilayer graphene, or, or, or other, other, uh, other generic stacking, uh, Configurations. If you look at look at the band structure, you will find that there's a, I mean, our flat bands and flat band. But here in this in this band structure, there's a flat band. Uh, I mean, together with a a a, a, a linear Dirac uh, Dirac bands. Okay, and in this case, we have a Dirac bands and we have flat band and the other Dirac bands with uh, with uh, higher clarity. Okay, and so uh, and we know that uh, after the after um, by decreasing the, 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 the twist angle, you will find that the unit cell are in, uh, uh, increasing dramatically. This is a table for, uh, here is a table, I'm oh, sorry. And this is a, a, a table uh, for the twist angle and the number of atoms in the unit cell for the twist biography. You will find that at the major angle, we have uh, 11,000 atoms in the unit cell. Okay, it's very, very huge, okay. If we want to generate the, if we want to store the, the telebending parameters, uh, uh, I mean, as, uh, in the original uh, when you're 19, uh, I mean, in the, in the original format, it's almost impossible because, uh, um, because we need to store, I mean, 11 times, 11,000 times 11,000 uh, elements. 
And also we, we have one, two, three, four, we have seven R points. So it's very, very huge. It's, uh, and, uh, and we know that most of the, uh, most of the hopings are zero because we not, I mean, we, the basis are, are, very, are, are very localized. So there should be no hopping be between this, I mean, uh, between the center to, to the next part. So, I mean, there are, most of them are just zero. So we don't have to store all those zeros, right? And so we, 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 we propose a, 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 another format we call a sparse format. We, uh, based on, on the original format, we call it a dense format. So we add another line uh, at the second line. It's called the number of non-zero lines here. We move all the zero lines of, of, of that one. And the, but, but we, uh, we just, the, the after format is the same, but we will remove the, all the non-zero, uh, we'll remove all the zero elements, zero lines here. So, and this is what we call the sparse format, okay. And, uh, uh, and uh, in order to, to study the, 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 the two grafting systems, we prepared a, a code, it's called the TGTBG, and it's called the Twist Graphing System Taliban model. It's shared on GitHub, and uh, uh, you can, it's also written in Fortune, it's very simple. And uh, in that, uh, uh, for this code, you need to prepare an input file called system.in, and in this uh, input file, you need to specify how many number of layers for example, in this case, there are three layers, okay, number three. And this is a twist index. This twist index is defined from the, 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 the commensurate uh, twist. It's called, you can read the paper here, in this paper. The angle, the relation between this index and the angle is, is like this, okay. And uh, a special case is zero. Zero uh, in the code, if you set m equals zero, then it means the twist angle is zero. Okay. So just no twist. And uh, the, this, and also we need to provide the twist angle array input. For, here we have three layers, right? Three layers, and the twist angle is like this. This is, this is the unit. Of, unit is this seat, okay? And the yellow it means the first layer doesn't twist. The second layer twists by a seat. It's a, I mean, uh, uh, this is a counterwise, counterclockwise. Uh, twist. And this theta is, means there's no twist. So it's based that. And the stacking configuration, uh, stacking sequence is ABA because then we know that in graphene we have two kinds of for stacking. This is the AB, uh, it, this is called the bonus stacking. The other one is the robohedron stacking, ABC stacking. Okay. So it, we only accept the three collectors ABC. And uh, we also, in this code, you can also provide a, a, a postcard. For example, you, in this case, you generate a postcard, but, uh, but you want to relax it with, uh, with the lumps. And then your lumps will give you another postcard. And then you, you can use that postcard to, to generate the, 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 the the Taliban model again. But in this case, we don't have the postcard and we generate our postcard here. And also we, 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 we need to specify, uh, okay, sorry, the, 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 here it's not, it's, it's not correct. Uh, uh, HR generate, whether you generate the Taliban model or not. Okay, here two, it means we generate the HR data. And also we need to specify the, the format of that HR data sparse or, 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 or the origin dense format. Okay, this is false means that uh, uh, the, we generate the, 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 the dense one. Okay, and also we have a HR cut. Uh, uh, this is uh, the, 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 the hoping cutoff. If, if it's, uh, it's smaller than this value, then we set to zero then. Okay, and uh, in, in this case, we use uh, 2.981 EV for the um, pi bonds hopping. And this is uh, our cut of for, uh, uh, I mean, the, the R points, because uh, uh, if the twist, uh, if the twist the index M is larger than one, we, we can all, you can always set it to one because uh, the, the unit cell is very large, it's very large, so there's no hopping between the home unit cell to the next, next. Okay, okay, so it's stage one. But uh, if, uh, if the twist index is zero, then it means that you, uh, that there are only two, two atoms in the home unit, so this R cut should be eight, or, or, or 
so that you can cover all the longer hopkins okay so and the telebanimo telebanimo hopkins is adapted from this paper and we use the static static cost model and okay Okay, and uh, to run this, it's very, it's very easy. You have this uh, file and run just right. And then you can generate wt.in and uh, hr.data and some, uh, some information where uh, the running information can be obtained here. Okay, and, uh, and uh, we combine these two, two, two subroutines, the, uh, these two programs, you can, you can, you can get the band structure for, for, for the, for the twisted bibliographic system. So for example, these are twisted bibliographic systems with the MX4 that the angle is the 7.34 degree, okay. And uh, if, once you calculate the w dot in, you can, you can, uh, you can, when you plot it, you will find that the, this is the flat band. This are, uh, it's called, I mean, also caution. It's not that flat here, okay. But we call the flat bands, okay. And uh, if you check the band indexes, it's from one to one to one to four, okay. And uh, uh, one different from the uh, the, the, the previous uh, Wilson loop calculation is that you can use you you need to you need to select the, the, those bands to 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 to, to get the Wilson loop, and the, the, this is described in the tutorial. Okay, uh, the, the, there's another another uh, a card to 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 select these bands. Okay. And you can get, get this Western loop, and you can compare with the uh, with, with the PRL paper, and uh, uh, it's indicate and it's written in the in the tutorial. That's the USD. That is not trivia. Okay. And also, uh, once you plot the band structure, we find that it's, it's kind of complex, right? It's very hard to tell the 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 the, the information from from that except in this part. Okay. But uh, in the in the when you look at the upper measurement, you will always see that the bands, uh, the, the 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 measurement looks like this. So so it means that we need to unfold the the. Depends from from the twisted value graphing to the to the primitive unit cell of, of graphing. You can pro, actually it's kind of a projection from projection uh, of the wave function to another plane wave defined by this uh, unit cells. Okay, this is called the band unfolding. Okay, then you you can compare this band to the monolayer value graphing and the bilayer graphing. Compare that. Okay, and. Uh, and uh, okay, the next part is the uh, the lambda level spectrum. And now, one networks can 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 study the lambda level spectrums to, uh, by apply the apply the magnetic field. If you apply the magnetic field uh, in the uh, in, in the calculation, you will find that I mean in the telebanding calculation, it's very easy to use a pass substitution. That's the magnetic field. Uh, uh, once you choose a uh, uh, a, a, a gauge, uh, a fixed gauge of the uh, for the magnetic field, you can get this uh, this gauge, and then you can calculate the uh, the phase that associates to the to the Hopkins, and then this will change the the type band model a lot. Okay, and uh, in the in our case, we choose a periodic lambda gauge, and uh, this defined by the Hasukawa in in this paper, and. Um, then here is the here is uh, the the calculation for, for for the graphene system. Okay, this is the band structure. And uh, actually, this band structure is uh, is obtained from the uh, uh, the the, uh, the DFT calculation with the vanilla ninety. So it's a little bit different from the band structure previously that obtained from the cost model. Okay, and uh, if you apply the magnetic field here. For example, if the, the flux per per this unit cell, it's per this unit cell, it's uh, it's one quarter. It's one quarter. You will find that the the bands are quantized into lambda levels. See the lambda level, lambda level, lambda level. The bands they are split into the third. And uh, actually, it's not because the magnetic field. Uh, when you apply the magnetic field, actually, it's not a, it's not a kind of a, uh, um, what's, uh, approximation linear linear response is not a kind of a linear response, so you cannot treat it as a as an approximation to the band. Actually, this phase changes a lot. 
to see. If you look at the, the, the lambda levels, it's very hard to, 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 tell, to tell some band, band characters of this band. So it's indeed changed a lot. Okay. By changing the, this file, I mean you, you can you can you can change the magnetic field too. So the so so the flux will change and then you can obtain the, the half side butterfly. The, this is the called the half side but, half side butterfly. Okay. Then the, here is a, a, the 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 half side butterfly for the twist double bibliography. Okay, for the twist double bariography, you can also have the flat bands close to the firm level, for example, this one. And this flat band is well separated from the remote bands. Okay, so you can you can just study these bands. And uh, and uh, actually, for twist double bariography, you have two configurations, the ABAB and the ABBA. If you look at the band structure, it's very hard to tell the difference, right? However, the topology, the, the topology are different. If you study the Western loop for these two, you, 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 you can do it, I mean, uh, after this uh, tutorial, uh, straightforward, actually. But it needs a lot of time, con I mean, the, the, the computational resource. You will find that the Western loop are, are totally different. Okay, However, they, they, uh, if you look at the, the, the and, uh, and we know that if the band topology is different, it may also means that the orbital magnetization is not different, right? And uh, since the orbital magnetization can couple with the, with, with the magnetic field, so we can, uh, we, uh, it's not uh, that, uh, uh, Astonish that uh, you 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 find these uh, two lambda level plots are, are totally different. Okay, and also my new tools can 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 uh, not only calculate the, I mean the this half set butterfly. We can also uh, do our integration to get the the vanilla diagrams. Okay, and then from the vanilla diagrams, it's easy to I mean to 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 if you look at the slope, it's easy to 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 get the 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 chain number in the in the lambda level gaps. So. Okay, and in in our tutorials, we we, we prepared to, uh, to also two tasks. The first task is it's 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 to study the twist value to twist the graphing systems. You you need to learn how to use that uh, TG, I mean that uh, code to generate the band model for twist value graphing and use manual tools to 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 calculate the band structures. Okay, and also you you can you can uh, calculate the Western loops for that. Okay, oh, and also start the band unfolding, and also uh, but in that tutorial we don't use the twist value graphing to study the lambda levels because it's uh, the system is so huge and it's so, it's impossible to write uh, in, 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 in this virtual machine, and uh, but the, we instead we use graphing as a model. We study the lambda level of the graphing. And uh, but graphene is a two D system, so just uh, so just no dispersion along the along the magnetic field. I mean along the Z direction. And also uh, we we prepare another model. It's called the three D Western metal toy model. It's uh, it, I mean in the previous session. In this model, you can apply the you can study the long levels along the K path. Uh, I mean, parallel to the magnetic field, you have, you you can you can study the uh, the chiral the the chiral mode that's uh, induced. And the, I mean, I mean that's uh, caused by the uh, by the wire wire points. Okay, that's uh, all. I, yeah. Okay, I would like to take the questions. Okay, first. Okay, the first question is that is is the is the TBG code restricted only to graphene? Can one simulate stacked for other same film? No, it's only for graphene. It's a uh, it's always uh, yeah, it's only for graphene. We also have a question from here from the room. Okay, please. So thank you for the talk. And um, I would ask you about the unfolding procedure for twisted ballet graphene. And what I want to ask is, um, when you unfold onto the primitive cell of uh, maybe single layer or bilayer untwisted uh, graphene, what are the uh, meaningful uh, um, physical quantities that you can uh, um, measure as a function maybe of the twist angle uh, doing uh, unfolding for different uh, twist angle? Yeah, that's a good question. Actually, 
the pen and four thing that we 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 did is uh, is that we want to compare with the upper measurement right and uh, in the upper measurement usually we use the laser we apply the laser onto the 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 the, the, the graphing sheet but for the when you apply it on the graphing sheets usually we you can only get the, the, I mean, some information from the top layers right then uh, uh, but sometimes you can get the information from the bottom layers, but the more the, 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 the primary information that you obtain is the, the, the top layers. Okay. So, and uh, and uh, actually the, uh, um, the unfold is kind of uh, to, to measure the weight between the plane wave defined by this one, by, by the top layers, by the top graphene. Lattice to onto the 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 the, the, the more cells. So, uh, yes, that's. Uh, yeah. So the band, so the band unfolding is that we want we we we, we because here it, it, it's a it's a double but it's a bilayer graphing right so uh, if you look, look if you look at the, the unfolded bands you'll find that the band structure is, looks like very similar to the bilayer graphing but uh, here see you 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 will you will find some 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 gaps these gaps are are, are in are, are induced by the more potentials. Thank you. Any other questions from here, from the room? We have one more question from here. Yeah, please. Hello, um, this is maybe a little bit unrelated to the topology stuff, but um, do you have some way to maybe look at the effect of uh, relaxation in the lattice? Uh, so when you twist at small angles, you have some big uh, relaxation to minimize um, the elastic forces and you get some sharp domains. But do you have some way to maybe, uh, you know, include this effect and look at it, its effect on the, on the bands? Because this is a uh, static geometry, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. That's uh, uh, so we need to use lamps. <laughs> yes, we can use the molecular dynamics. Uh, I mean, the classic molecular dynamics method. So we can here in test bibliography, you can the theory there. Uh, there are already some some classic potentials for for the graphene systems or even graphene HBN systems. So you can use lamps to, to, to generate the, the, uh, the relaxed, relaxed crystal structure and uh, use this code to generate the band model. And then you, 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 you can study the band structure again. And then you will find that, uh, you will find that after the relaxation, these flat bands are more isolated from the remote bands. Cool, thanks. Okay. Hi, hi. Thank you. So I, I, I have another question. So in the, the way you define the, the Hamiltonian for the, the, the twisted, you only have to define the, the pi bond. Uh, so is there any way to modify the, the on-site uh, potentials or the, the, the sigma bond? Uh, I, I'm sorry, to, 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 to define what? I'm, uh, I so, get it. So in in the in the system generation, you have to specify the, let's say, the, the the value for the pi bond of the PC orbitals. Uh, pi bond, yes, yes, yes. Okay, pi bond, yes. Yeah. So, is there a way to modify the the you know the the other ones that like the sigma bond or the um, or the on-site energy? Oh yeah. Uh, no, the sigma bond. Uh, uh, in this code, you, you you can change that that code. Actually, the the sigma bond it's uh, I think it's 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 kind of fixed. Uh, in my code, I, I fixed it. You, 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 but, but you, you, you can, you can relax it. I mean, you, you, you can set yourself by, 
using this uh, uh, PP pi, V sigma zero, sigma zero. You, you can set it yourself here. Okay, I see. Yes. Okay, so sorry, so yeah, just an, another follow-up question. Then, um, I mean, this, this would be, so I mean, how, how do you build the, the, um, the type ending model for the, for the twisted? So you build one for the, for, for the bulk, let's say, untwisted thing, and then you, you twist and kind of repeat all, all these hopings to, to make a supercell, or, or do you do no. this in, in another way? No, no, no. First, you generate a, 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 you generate a, a unit cell, right? For example, like once you generate uh, this unit cell, once you have a unit cell, then you, if you have a unit cell, then you have all the, all the R, right? All the distance between these two, these two atoms, right? Between each pair of atoms. And then you can use the, the slide cost model to, to, to get the hopping between each atoms, each pair of atoms. Okay, I see. So you, you also get hopings for the interlayer, right? So like from yes. one layer to, to the other. Okay, okay, I see. Thank exactly. you. Also, we have VPP sigma, right? Otherwise, we only, we only have the VPP pair. And I have pair bonds. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, uh, uh, and uh, the, the same, uh, there are, are several questions in, in the chat, but I will answer them later. And uh, uh, okay, you can, well, we can start from, I mean, the, 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 the tutorials, I mean, from these two, uh, with these two PDFs. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can ask. Quan do you hear us? Yes, I'm here. Please ask a question. Actually, I have two questions from previous exercise of topological uh, semi-metal case. Uh, suppose uh, we want to define the surface card for along zero zero along one 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 direction. Can you please explain that setting? So this is for zero zero one, but I want one one one. Oh, one 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 direction, right? One 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 surface, right? One 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 surface. I am unable okay. to understand the surface card setting of that case. Okay, for one 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 surface, it's uh, so you want to uh, you want to one one. One 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 surface, right? For the one 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 surface, uh, you need to choose. To, you need to get two vectors that are perpendicular to this uh, to to this direction. 
So uh, I assume that uh, it's, a, uh, it's a cubic system. Okay, one one direction you will have, you need to specify one one minus two, the first one. Th this one is, uh, is uh, perpendicular to this line, right? And then the second one, it's, uh, it's uh, one minus one, zero, right? So you only need to specify this two. That's enough. And so this one is to that. This one is also perpendicular to that one. Yes. Okay. Okay. And does the surface rates depend upon the vanier functions we choose? Like I found uh, um, the vanier choice of vanier functions near the Fermi level uh, do affect the surface state properties. Like uh, in these vanier tools, how should we choose? Yeah. How many bands we should? How many vanier functions we should choose near the Fermi level to get? Exact surface state properties. Uh, to, to choose vanier functions or what? Uh, 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 like suppose we are getting band inversion near the Fermi level. So how many bands below the Fermi level we should choose? Oh, okay. To to calculate to calculate the surface state, you don't have to to to, to choose a number of states. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't depends on the, that number of compared bands. Uh, so it. It is. It varies a lot. Like uh, in LABI system itself, if I choose suppose four uh, bands below the Fermi level, uh, then I was not getting. So then, if I took two bands below the Fermi level, then I was getting. The uh -huh. You you mean this? You mean the EK slab or like or, 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 mainly or. the Dirac point? Um, mainly the Dirac point, I want to say. Like uh, I was, I was not getting the surface states. Um, like if I choose all the uh, all the states below the Fermi level. Um, it's not. It's not only one in one case. I found it in many cases. So that's why I asked. Like, does the choice of linear functions below the Fermi level affect the surface state properties? You mean in the setting of WT dot in? Or, 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 yeah. or, uh. or did, did, I mean, did you choose, did you change your, 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 your telebanding model? I mean, the HR data? Yeah, I need to choose that. Uh, I need to change that only, uh, like, I decrease the bands below the Fermi level. Then I was like, it's like, um, the inner frozen window which we use for constructing <laughs> linear functions, like how many states we should choose. Okay, I, I, I see your point. I see your point. Okay, uh, they they uh, okay. And that's related to how how do you construct the linear functions, right? So they um, um, we when you construct the linear functions, it's, you. Uh, I mean, for example, here in this case, yeah. this is a business side, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When we we want we you we want to study the 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 band. I mean, the uh, we first we need to um, study the uh, the band topology of these systems, right? Second, we I mean, second we want we will also want to reproduce the. Band structure calculate uh, calculator close to the Fermi level, right? Yeah. So, so we need. So it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's. Um, uh, uh, so we need to first we need to 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 do the uh, fat band cal calculation system, also called the band calculator studies. For example, you project the band structure onto the bismuth uh, to the to the orbitals of, of different atoms, right? Okay. So from for the bismuth satellite, you will still look if you look at the band band, band structure, you will find that uh, the the bismuth p p orbitals and the salino p orbitals that may dominate the the, the the energy bands closer from the level. Yes. So it doesn't it that so it means that when you construct the binary functions, it, it's uh, it's um, it's not related to the bands uh, and below the Fermi level, but you need to construct a good type band model that can that can describe all the band collector for this one. And uh, uh, 
uh, uh, maybe your question relates like an, another question. For example, here we have the bismuth P and selenium P orbital, right? It's a good tidal band model. But uh, if you add another bismuth S orbital or selenium S orbital, we include these two bands together, then we will have uh, more vanilla functions. And then you will ask whether their, their surfaces are the same or not, right? Okay. Are you asking sir, that question? Yes, sir. Actually, this is clear, like it is in deep valence, it is of no use to the surface state properties of topological insulators. Uh, bismuth selenide, I didn't face any problem, but in topological semi-metals, uh, I, I felt that uh, like uh, you can see here below the Fermi level from zero to minus five, you can see a large number of states. Suppose mm -hmm. there are 15 states. So uh, suppose like now if how many states should i choose to get the exact surface state properties uh, i found that only by choosing two or three i was able to get but if i choose more than three uh, like seven or eight but it was a hit and trial like i need to iterate every time that how many states should i choose to get the like Dirac point Okay, I see your point. Okay, so yes, for Dirac sign metals or for semi metals, usually be because they because it's a metal, so the so the orbitals are not that localized, right? So usually we need more vanilla functions to 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 get uh, I mean to to get the more localized orbitals. Okay. So sometimes you need to get more orbitals. I mean, if if the band structure, I mean, if you only, cal for example, for the bismuth satellite, if you only only calculate, if you only construct the two band, I mean, four bands close to the Fermi level, you will find that the vanilla function, the spread of the vanilla function are very large, right? The spread are very, very large, the spread of the vanilla function. So in that case, of course, it will affect the, 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 surface, the, the surface state. Calculation. But in that case, I was getting the correct result. Yes, I think in, in that, I mean, at, at the beginning, you, uh, I mean, in the one year tools, we, uh, the approximation is that it's a tidal band model. It should be kind of a localized, it should not be very, very extended, for example, across to four or seven unit cells. It's a, if it's a very, 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 very spread, then it's not easy to, 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 to get to right the, the, the surface states, right? Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, yeah, Stepa. Uh, Stepa, you ask, uh, can I calculate on, on the levels for, of twisted calligraphy used for, only for the lower bands? Yes, yes, it's a uh, weak cane. We can calculate the London levels for that. So actually, uh, actually, <laughs> yes, actually, well, it, in was this not, case, it was not me, just all this room is under my account. So, <laughs> yes, actually, for this, it's, it's like that, you see. Uh -huh. can calculate it. But, but, but it's, a, it's, a, it's more tricky, actually, because this, this London levels, I mean, this flat band are not topological trivial. They are not just topological and trivial. So, you see, they linked from the remote bands, you see. The, the, the contact with the remote bands. Hi, Kwanshank, this is Antimo. I actually have a question for you. Uh, yes, please. It's a bit general. So the machinery that you developed for the unfolding, you know, that, that you're showing with this tutorial on, on twisted by the graphene, yes. would that work with any supercell Vanier Hamiltonian? You know? Yes. So it's very yes. general. It's not, you know, you could do it with any, any, you know, Vanier Hamiltonian of a supercell, that, that yes. would work. Yes, yes. Okay. Here you see, I, I prepared, uh, for example, the, the, the diamond, the, carb, the carbon vacancy diamond or silicon doped diamond. Yes, it works. Fantastic, oh. excellent. Okay, yeah, I, I would uh, add, uh, so, so really any, so you take any, say, cell, whatever it is, and you select uh, any smaller cell, that, yes. Okay, that can be integer fitted into the original one, and it works. Okay, whatever yes. is the result, but it works. Yes, it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Any kind of unit there? Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just. But 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 the point is that the the unit that you choose is is kind of re, uh, you you need to make sure that uh, there is. Uh, 
el, um, there, it, you have a map between the origins and the, 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 uh, the primitive cell. If there's no match, then, then there's no, no weight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So in no, this, no, it, it, not, 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 no, there is no requirement that it is somehow similar, has the same number of atoms, uh, or like. I mean, to make sense, it has to be. Yeah, you know, know, of, one yeah. thing to make sense. The other thing that, well, te technically, you don't rely it's just ge geometric of what's unfolding. Yeah. It's... Yeah. So there's yeah, another yeah. question from. Yeah, it's very similar question. So if we have some. Like this distortion, atomic distortion in the supercell, then can you avoid that system? Oh, yeah, that's a good question, actually. <laughs> Lattice distortion. It, I, um, uh, there is, I mean, in the code, you, if you look at, I mean, let me look at the code. It's, um, and uh, um, for the, uh, there Wait, is, you mean distortion of lattice vectors or atomic positions? Atomic position. Atomic position. <laughs> you you also need to 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 uh, to 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 do a uh, distortion for for your primitive cell actually. Otherwise, the, the, otherwise the, the, just no match, right? Uh -huh. No, but this is for you know what the, what you're showing is the the lattice parameters, but the atomic positions you know they're not. They're not needed. They're either. not needed here, right? Yes, I mean the, the, the lattice vector should also be should also should also match. I mean, yeah, yeah no, that's, that's, for sure. Sure. that's for sure. But I guess the question was more like: suppose the lattice vectors do match, uh, if yes. you can have uh, you know just just distorting the the in the super side you distort the atomic positions, you can absolutely unfold back. It's uh, yeah, that's yeah. Really yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it with the three, and here it's just with vanier functions. But yes, yes, yes. I mean, he, here is a kind of a limit, kind of a limited. Actually, in the in the in the uh, in the vast, but if you have the wave the wave function in the uh, in the real space, then you can get you you can you can set uh, like step and step. I mean, yeah. like I'm just let any kind of unit there. It it should be okay. But in the Tadavani model, it's kind of limited actually because we okay, treat so, the other. So it's really you you can distort it, but only slightly, right? So that it yes. finds which was distorted to which. Yes, yes. But yes. say you had an uh, eight by eight supercell with uh, I don't know eight, uh, no, no, say two by two by two with eight atoms, and then you unfold to a cell which has no atoms. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you cannot do it, right? No, it, it, well, no, it's not like in the, the DFT where you have a real space and you just set, well, just the form of the primitive unit cell and that's it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 And to. One more question. Can I ask one more question? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So to follow up on the question on the Landau level, so mm -hmm. is the effect of orbital magnetization included in the Landau level calculation? Uh, sorry? Uh, what kind of effect? Of orbital magnetization. Uh, orbital magnetization, yes, it's automatically included, actually. Be because the pairs substitution will give you that orbital magnetization. No, I oh, okay, I, I see. Thank, thank, thanks a lot. You, you see, I mean, the, the orbital magnetization actually is a kind of orbital effect, right? I mean, the, 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 that's called, I mean, when you apply the magnetic field here, here see, the they, they flux just coupled to the orbitals, right? So it's automatically included.
Okay. Rafa's asked, is there possible to conjure some self service termination? That's a good question. We are working on that. At, at present, no. I go to the Leonardo mm -hmm. and then come back up for lunch. Mm -hmm. Now I think, yes. Okay, so maybe in a couple of minutes we can uh, stop with the uh, hands on. Uh, there is a coffee break uh, between now and let's say five past 11 and uh, 11 30. As usual, those who are uh, uh, who mm, at the Leonardo building and uh, need to come <coughs> here for to the Adriatico building, uh, they can take a shuttle shuttle bus that leaves at 11.30. Um, yeah, and I think we should thank again Juan Shank for the great tutorial. Thank you, yeah. thank you Antimo. Thank you, Stefan, Giovanni, and Jun Feng. <laughs>